Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let us discuss about the basics of Azure storage account and also I'll show you a way to create it. As the name states, it is used to store different types of data on Azure. It has four types of data storage APIs. Blob storage is used to store the data in blob format. File share is used to store the data in file format and you can attach a file share as a drive inside your machine. Table storage is used to store the data in form of NoSQL and queue storage like if you have a scenario where you have to process the requests in first in first out manner, you can go for queue storage. In this video, I'll just show you how to create uh, the storage account only, but in future I'll upload videos on individual storage types. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can get a notification as and when I upload videos on these topics. To create a storage account, we have to go to portal.azure.com. If you don't have an account with Azure, you can create one for free. Click on create a resource and search for storage account. Click on create. Here we have to select a subscription. I want to keep this as Azure subscription only. And if you don't have a resource group, you can create one for free. I already have a resource group, but still I want to create uh, a resource group. Resource group is used to store all your resources together. In future, if you have a situation where you have to delete the resources, Deleting individual resources will take time. Instead, you can directly go to the resource group and delete that entire resource group. For practice, I would recommend using the resource group and deleting the resource group so that it will save some costs. And I'm giving the name as NC storage account demo and I'm leaving the region as, as it is. I'm using, I'm going for the standard tire only as this is a kind of tutorial video. I don't want to go for premium as uh, it, it will cost more. And in redundancy, I'll choose locally redundant where this storage account will be replicated in, in a single data center only. So it will save us the cost and clicking on next. I'm going with the default settings over here uh, for security and all those things. And here we have access tier. Like if you choose access tier, like if you have a scenario where the data got read too frequently, you can go for hot. Otherwise, you can go for cool. Uh, for now, I'm keeping this as hot only. And uh, in the networking, like if you choose public endpoint, anybody can access this uh, if they have the URL to uh, the resources. And public endpoint selected networks. Here you can configure individual networks who can access your storage account and private endpoint private endpoint means uh, all of your resources inside a private virtual network and they can access the storage account and for this demo i'm keeping this as public endpoint only and under data protection like here we have different options uh, for blobs where we can enable the soft delete like if a blob is deleted it will be preserved for seven days uh, if you want you can recover them and it is same for containers and file shares. I'll explain what, what are containers in this video later. Here we can enable versioning and enable blob change field. Uh, I'll create separate videos on these things and I'll upload later. Click on next, click on review and create. It is running the final validation. Now the validation is passed. You can click on create button. The deployment of this storage account will save take some time uh, let us come back once the storage account is created now the storage account is created click on go to resource yeah in the overview section you can see under which resource group it is created and under which subscription and subscription id and performance access types all those things and here we have different types of APIs. and uh, let me create a container and upload a file inside this i'm naming my container as sample container and here we have different access levels if you give private access nobody can access this and if you choose the blob anonymous read access for blobs only if somebody have a url for the blob they can access the blob and container uh, if you have somebody if somebody have access for the container 
they can access the entire container but for this demo i'm choosing blob uh, anonymous read access for blobs only and i'm clicking on create so the containers are uh, you can assume like folders inside the azure storage account where you can group the related blobs together i'm going into the sample container and here we can upload the file click on upload and choose the file that you want to upload i'm choosing this sample file and uploading it so once the upload is done the file will be shown inside your storage account click on the sample.txt here you can see the properties of this file like here it has last modified date and create and create creation time and all other details and also the url to access here we have edit option if you want to edit the data inside that file uh, like uh, i'm adding more text over here you can edit it now go to the overview and copy the url if you paste the url on the browser as we have enabled the public access for blog only we can get the data inside the file so azure is returning the response for that url now uh, i'll show you how, what is the advantage of keeping all resources together in a single resource group you can go to home and here we have rb1008 so at present we have created only one resource that is the storage account in this resource group but in sometimes we may have to create multiple resources like if you create a virtual machine it may create uh, five to six resources so if you keep a different resource group it will be very hard to delete all these resources so if, if you use a resource group if you want to delete it you can simply click on this delete resource group and you have to give the name so this will delete the resource group and also the resources inside that if you like my explanation, please give, give a thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.